Greetings. Lewis Townsend here. Um, among other things, I am a digital artist. Um, I like to create digital art with uh, my Syntix 12WX and I use Photoshop um, to make digital paintings. Um, I wouldn't really call myself highly experienced at this, so occasionally I run into problem. is isn't easy for me to figure out. For instance, this mixing issue I ran into. Um, I was trying to mix two colors together and and it, it's relatively uh, easy thing to do in Photoshop but I was looking for an even easier way to do it. Specifically when I was working on this uh, uh, painting here um, the metal is uh, gray but I want it to be shiny um, but I don't want it to be too shiny like a mirror. I want it to be uh, just kind of 50% um, shiny, if you will, um, so that you see um, the color of the metal, but you also see reflections. At first, I was just going to uh, set my brush to 50% capacity and uh, start painting. Um, but watch what happens when I do that. So I'm going to get the sand color and I'm going to paint it on the gray. Okay, looks okay. Well, there's got a problem here. Every time I overlap a stroke with another that I've already painted, it it doesn't work together. It it creates um, additional um, color difference. The 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 multiple strokes don't look the same color where they cross over each other and that's just because of the um, transparency each one is is like a, another layer on top of the other which is is kind of what you want sometimes but it's definitely not um, what I'm going for so what I'm going to do here instead well, in case you didn't know, that's not the effect I wanted. Uh, one alternative would be for me to use uh, one continuous stroke, um, and that's harder than it sounds. Uh, because I can't let my mouse, I mean my, my pointer up to um, make any changes or corrections, or um, it, it really interrupts the flow of my, my work. Um, and so in order to go back it, it's a lot more work to, to do it this way let me just leave it at that so uh, to keep the overlap from showing as I paint naturally uh, I need to set the opacity to 100% and that means I need the color I'm painting to be the color I want to show uh, and that means I need to mix some colors together um, I realize that I want to mix several different colors to match anything that might need to be reflected. Um, as you can see, there's um, quite a lot of different colors in the painting. So, um, you know, I've got the the sand and the boat, which is blue, and the sky is a different blue, and there's the trees that's green and brown, and the, even the skin color. There's um, a few surfaces where uh, the skin is going to need to be reflected in the metal. So um, that leaves uh, quite a number of mixing operations and so um, I was uh, just trying to think of a way to do this that was um, quick and easy, easier than, than what I already knew how to do. Um, so uh, while I was painting uh, this particular painting, I was also chatting with a friend of mine who just happens to be um, the commissioner for this piece. And I, I mentioned I wished there was an easy way to just pick two colors and have them mixed. And, and he pointed to me some um, YouTube videos that show how to mix colors in Photoshop. Um, however, the videos I saw looked more complicated than what I'd already figured out on my own. Um, it showed a nice ways of getting good gradients and and blends of colors and um, but the the quick 50 50 mix um, that I was looking for I, I just didn't find that um, when I explained to my friend um, that my method that 
um, I was using seemed to be easier. Um, he suggested I, uh, you know, make make a video demonstrating it rather than you know looking for something easier than that. Um, so, um, if anyone knows a better, faster way to do what I'm uh, trying to achieve, um, please comment and uh, let me know it, it, what I'm missing here. So, without further ado, here is my method. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of what I did a while ago. Okay, this is just simple. I'm going to use the brush tool, which is this one. I've got it, already got it set to 50%. Um, I'm going to go actually go back to the eyedropper, pick the gray, and paint with the brush tool over the, the yellow. And you can do it the other way around. You could do the, the yellow over the gray. But anyway, so I'm just making this little spot. You can see it's partly gray and partly yellow. And then I'm going to eyedropper that color. And then I'm going to go back to the brush and change it back to 100% and draw another spot. And it looks the same, but they're very different. And you can tell they're different when you take away this background. You can even take that away. You can tell that one is, is actually a, a transparent gray and the other one is partly gray and partly um, yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the one that's transparent. So now I have this um, this gray, and I can paint it, and I can make more than one brush stroke, and it all still looks pretty good. It's all the same color. Now, this isn't the actual final product to what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably tweak this a little bit more, but I'm going to go ahead and show you some more color combinations as well. So uh, I'm also going to show you the, the other way around where you take the, the source color and mix it onto the destination. So I did an eyedropper on the on the hair brown color. And then I'm going to go 50% brush and paint it on the gray. And then I'm going to eyedropper that. Go brush 100% opacity and paint it over here. I like making a, a row of, of colors, vertical or horizontal. And then I can go back, of course, and erase that. Now, all this that I've been doing is on a separate layer. Um, I just have a, a layer over here called Paint Spots, and so that way I can just use the regular erase tool and um, get rid of it. Um, I'll just do one more up here. I want to do some green. I'm going to do the gray over the green. Oops. Okay, there's a couple different colors of green, so I'm doing this gray over two different colors of green. So what I can do is I drop a one. Um, I'm going to go back to 100% opacity. Go down here, paint it. And then I'm going to eyedrop it the other one, which is right there, and paint it. And you can tell they're a little bit different. And I said I was just, that was the last one I was going to do, but I'm going to go ahead and do a blue for the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and paint 50% over like a medium sky. I drop it that and brush it at a hundred percent here. Okay, so now you can see that I've got five different colors 
and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and paint some where they might show up. Right here you might have the, the blue of the sky. Here you might have the brown of the hair. Um, over here I have the green something like that anyway um, I hope that's demonstrated my method um, as I said before please uh, comment um, if this is helpful to you or especially if you know of an even better way to do it thanks bye